close attention. I hear Game & Watch, though. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. Well. Beep, okay, boop, beep, boop. There's entirely too many Game & Watches. There's like, there's, there's about two or three Game & Watches. All right, uh, so coming up here, we have Oracle versus Just Saiyan. It's going to be Game & Watch versus Wolf. Oracle's been going uh, a lot more Wolf as of lately. Mm -hmm. um, he's just been going secondaries in general. He's a... Uh, He's such a solid, fundamental player that he can just pick up any character he wants to play as just just because he wants to. Yeah. Just saying. Uh, just saying is a newer player. He's been coming to the Infinity Beyond Weeklies and doing pretty well. Uh, I don't remember exactly where he is on PR, but I think he's been he's been doing fairly well, as mm -hmm. I said, like three times in a row. All right. Got some grabs going. Uh, couldn't make a ball up out of it. He, he went for a fair, but he got punished because um, Oracle wasn't at a high enough percent for the hit stun to last for long. You have very technical commentary. I I see frame by frame. Need two king powers activate. This is actually closer than I thought. Like no, no mm -hmm. hate on just saying, but well, Oracle, Oracle. is uh, one of the prominent. He's or one of the prominent players around here. He's very very strong. He is right um, right right. I'm saying yeah. that just saying is doing better than I thought he would, considering it is Oracle and he's like yeah. number three on the PR or something. Uh, something. Now? He's he's been number three on every PR we've pretty much done. He's he's been a consistent player. Yeah. I think right now it's like Denti, Seth on Oracle, mm -hmm. Luck, Infinity, something like that. Because some people don't come out to tournaments. I, If I had a choice, I'd come out to everything. I'm sorry, Beck. I'm not perfect. I have this thing called geometry homework, and it's really hard. I don't know X and Y. I don't know Z. I don't know where to find X. and X. Y are Pokemon. Uh, Z, has, Z hasn't come out yet. Have you played X and Y? They're pretty uh, Yeah, good. X and Y is actually really fun. The problem is there's no after game. Anyways, yeah. back to the match. Um... Just saying is actually, like you said, not doing too bad. Being down half a stock is actually not too... Oh, no, oh I should stop talking. Words are hard. Words are hard. Holy mother of God, I got french fries. Luck has repaid his debt. I got what french fries. Did, what did Luck do to you? Nothing. Played Diddy Kong? He owed me french fries. Because whenever I say, whenever someone goes to get food at a place that has french fries, I'm like, hey, can I get some french fries? And they're normally like, yeah, sure, whatever. And then they forget. Or they just disregard my wishes. I should wait until this match is over before I eat these french fries. No, uh, just, just slobber into the mic. Uh, I'll, I'll do it with you. There we go. I'm very sorry, stream goers. I won't do it again. I will. Stop it. All right. Like you always should, Oracle was prepared to tech that Game & Watch down throw. Uh, it's really interesting. Game & Watch's throws, you can't DI his up throw. So the only way you can deal with it is SDI the up airs that follow afterwards. And you can always buffer a tech. Basically, you DI preparing for the up throw, and you always uh, buffer a tech input for down throw. Because, That's exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, because um, buffering the tech means you cover uh, two throws. Now, if he does forward or back throw, he's purely reading DI. It's, uh, it's a lot more of a mix-up. I don't even know what his forward and back throws look like because I've really never seen a Game & Watch well, use them. Well, the thing is, Game & Watch's throw animation for like when he juggles you like up and down or whatever, all of the throw animations are the same. So there's no way yeah. to tell in between that. And the angle that it sends at is sometimes hard to judge because depending on their DI, it could look like it was up throw or it could look like it was back or forward. For throw. sure. Oracle banning Yoshi's uh, Skyloft, or no, not Skyloft, um, FD and Lilac. Or I think we're still going through bands here. We're thinking very, very hard about our bands. And yeah, our he's, color, he's, yeah, he's trying to counterfeit color. colors. We're going to go, go. We're gonna go to a... Oh, never mind. All right, looks like we were going to Fountain of Dreams, one of my unfavored stages. I don't do well with moving platforms. Uh, yeah, a, a lot of stages in Project M have um, have some sort of variant of like a moving platform or, yeah. or, or some sort of like slope. The only true neutral stages are stuff like Battlefield and PS2. See, I can deal with the slopes, like on Metal Cavern and Yoshi's uh, oh. Island Brawl. Yeah. I, I don't like the moving platforms. It messes up oh. my con- Oh, no. Sad he, day. Um, I think he did have his double jump, but he went too low, so by the time he could have jumped, he, uh, he just accepted his fate. Yeah. Oh, well. Anyway, like I was saying, I just the moving platforms mess up combos, mess up wave, la wave lands. Mess mm -hmm. up grabs. Characters from Melee uh, notably do bad on this stage. Like um, like Falcon really hates the stage. I mean, some characters like Sheik are good here, but uh, when Falcon tries to juggle you and stuff, platforms kind of get in the way completely. Interesting. It's an insta ban for Falcon players. 
Ooh, no, that was a bad shield grab. Got baited and punished. Yeah. Uh, with a character like a uh, space animal like Wolf, they can approach shields and uh, and bait options, so their shield pressure is really good and safe. Oh, yeah. If done right, it's unpunishable, and a lot of players that are uh, newer to the game will shield grab, and um, and because, you know, they whiffed it because space's pressure is too good, uh, they get punished for it. So your best option is to buffer a roll. However, Game & Watch's rolls are uh, very... Abysmal. Very <laughs> they're pretty questionable. It's cute, though. He does just this little silly cartwheel. Yeah. Have you seen his walk animation for Smash 4? It's ridiculous. No. Uh, in Smash 4, actually, he does some silly stuff. Like, when he charges forward smash, he physically holds the flame behind him. And same with, uh, with the forward tilt chair. Yeah. The Chris Hansen. <laughs> Take a seat. Sir, would you like to explain what you're doing here tonight? Playing some Smash Bros with some kids who are half my age, apparently. That would be Infinity. <laughs> and you. <laughs> yeah, uh, Inf <laughs> Infinity, I believe, is 30 years he old now. He is 30 now. Yeah, and I'm 14, so uh, I'm actually... I'd have to pull the Master Sword about two times oh, no. to get to his age. Yeah, Just uh, saying S-Ding for his final yeah. stock. Game going to Oracle. Ledge canceled the dare. Unfortunate. Mistakes happen. Sad 